Using your brochure templates to actually create a brochure on a property record is done from the property record on the brochures tab. So clicking onto the brochures tab and then clicking onto the word brochure sub tab. Once you've created your brochure templates using the template type of property particulars as shown in the previous sections, from the drop down list you select your brochure that you wish to use. Selecting the brochure that you wish to use and then clicking the create brochure button. Now at this point it doesn't matter if you're creating the brochure from the office brochure drop down or the website and portal brochure drop down. I'm just going to press create brochure on the top one. This then will open up the screen that you all have seen before which you leave open and click on the download at the bottom of your screen. That opens up Word and you enable editing. This then has used our brochure template that we created in the last section to create a brochure and it's pulled through all of the relevant information started filling in the information in the second text box here, added in our floor plan, our EPC, all of the changes that we made as well are there. The only thing it has not done is pulled through the price for a very specific reason. Now never ever put the price into the Word document. It is not broken, it's done it for a very particular reason, so leave it as it is. You can make any changes that you need to, so you could um, make this text box slightly smaller, move up your room detail text boxes if needed, and then maybe move your floor plan up a little bit as well. So you can make any one-off changes that you need to at this point. Once you've made your changes, the only change we do not need to make is adding the price in, but once you've made your changes, go to File, Save As, and as always, save onto your local hard drive. Once saved, close down Word. Now even if you have not made changes to your brochure template, you always have to save your brochures. Okay, so unlike with your letters where you only save if you've made a change, Always save your brochures, even if you haven't made a change to them. We're going to close down Word, and on this screen, press the Select button to re-upload our brochure. Now, the reason it didn't matter that from the drop-down, whether we chose the Office drop-down or the Website and Portal drop-down, is because we've got the options here. Now, most people will keep both of these ticked and just press Save. If, however, you show different information on your website brochure as you do on your office brochure, you would be needing to do this process twice and the first one would be potentially the office brochure. Pressing save and then doing the same on the website drop down and unticking office. I am going to keep them as both ticked though, so we are uploading this brochure as both the office internal brochure and also the brochure that is available online and I'm going to press the save button. You then get a pop-up here telling you that your brochure is in the queue for conversion. Pressing the OK button and what that will do is it will pull the brochure through into the queue. Now the queue consists of anybody that is doing their brochures across Expert Agent, across all of our branches at this particular time. So it can take anything from 20 seconds to 20 minutes. Please do be patient with it. At this point, when you're waiting for it, you can log out and go out to a viewing or to lunch or finish your day or add a property in, another property, add an applicant in, book in viewings. You can come away from this property record. You do not have to sit here waiting. It's pulling it through from Word into the queue. Once it's at the top of the queue, it will create a PDF brochure, pop the price on top of the PDF brochure and send you a quick message at the top here to let you know that it has done that. Once your brochure has come back to you, you will receive a message up here in the top right hand corner of Expert Agent. The message icon will go pink, expand out, tell you how many unread messages you have and there will be a blue starburst in the front speech bubble. Clicking on that icon will open up your inbox. 
You get here in your inbox messages from yourself saying that your brochures are back. Messages You can get messages from your colleagues as well and you will also receive your replies to your support tickets from in here as well. But clicking into your brochure message and from here you can open up the PDF brochure. It's got our logo in the top here, the main photo, the star items, it has also got the further photos. It's also put the price in there. Remember we talked about how you never write the price into the Word document because the system will add it into the PDF brochure for you. It's got our room details, our floor plan and our EPC. So very happy with that brochure. I can print from here if I want to, print a stack of them and keep them on my desk drawer. Or we can close down the PDF viewer and click on the linked record within the message to refresh our property and assign the brochure to it here and on the brochures tab as well, here and here. Making sure you are showing full details on the web, otherwise you will not see the room details or the brochure when the property is marketed.